Alright, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total War Gold Edition. This is part 21. One could even say that my LP is now old enough to drink. Um, and I'd like to start off this uh, episode by giving a shout out to uh, Jeff Major, aka 1F Jeff. Uh, simply because without him, I don't think this LP would have been half as successful as it has been thus far. I mean, it's been about a week since uh, I've been featured on his page and the first video of the LP has gotten something like over 500 hits there's like 70 something subscribers it's just ridiculous I never imagined that my first LP would actually uh, get this far so big thanks to him and also thanks to all the users who have uh, posted how to play tips uh, throughout this even though one might say they are spoiling uh, the blind LP experience I'm going to insist that they're helping me and doing uh, a good job of it so, anyways, when we left off, we had this rebel army right here standing outside um, of one of our main towns. And uh, I do believe we were building the next uh, level of city in there and in Potavium. Uh Now, this town recently uh, should have built, yep, it built some peasants. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those peasants to boost uh, Segesta up a level. Because it needs to get developed fast. And then we have this guy right here, who's already moved this turn. But, um, actually, oh, he's from Segesta himself, so he should actually have gone the other way. Alright, whatever. Uh, next, we have a diplomat. Uh... No, not alliance. Trade rights. Map information. Offer. Alright. So now we have the Britons map. And we see that we have some uh, Germans over here. And we have some Dacians over here. So my next order of business will probably be to go to the Germans with uh, my little trade emissary type people. Here I'm moving towards Carthage. And let's see. What do we have here? Uh, we have a garrison there. Garrison there. And there's not really that terribly much that uh, I can be doing at this point in time. Um, simply because... Uh, most of my fighting will go on over here on uh, on this end of the spectrum. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start that off. And uh, from what I see of the Gauls, they have this province here. They have this province, this province, and this province. Now this one uh, is going to take too long to get to from all the others, so I'm just going to leave it be. And basically I'm going to start down here at the south and move steadily north to their new capital since I captured their old one. Yep, pretty much. And uh, I think with that we are going to end uh, the turn. Because pirate ships are very powerful and they will destroy our ships, normally speaking. Yeah, yep, there they go. Clear defeat, thank you very much. Let's see, we made a lot of money. Uh, we built some things, and everyone's fighting the Macedonians now. Except for the Skippy, and the Skippy are pussies. They've decided to not assist me against Gauls, so I don't like them any. Sorry, Jeff. I know you're playing against them. And let's see, what do we have here? We are going to build you a practice range. Uh, because next turn they're going to be ready for the upgraded town. And let's see, what do we have? We have some 
Oh god, we have so many things that we can uh, be doing here. Uh, I'm just going to start off with a uh, four turn barracks. And then... And then, and then, and then. What are we going to move on to? We can build fleets. I hate fleets, though, so we're not going to do that. Spies, assassins, useless. Roman archers and ballistas. And cavalry auxilia. That's going to be our build order here. We want that town to be able to uh, crank out large amounts of military in short amount of time. Uh, now this place. Barracks, stables, practice rain. Actually, um, let's get barracks and then a trader. Now let's get them some land clearance too. Alright, now we're going to get these guys here and disband them. So hopefully, yep. That got added to their population, so that's good. And, uh, yeah, let's see. How's this place doing? Oh, it can build the next level of thingamabobber. Awesome. And, uh, actually, I sort of like this guy, uh, being out here, so I'm gonna find somebody. I don't like this guy in particular, but I like the fact that his army's out here, so I'm gonna keep sending that army that way, and, uh, yeah. And, uh. God damn it, I have no clue how we're doing on time. Again. Alright. That's pretty goddamn typical. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's start this battle right now. Yeah, let's do that. Second time I'm taking over this town now. Uh, divide and conquer. I don't believe in divide and conquer. I actually believe in uh, using one really strong army and steamrolling everything. And that's worked out decently well for me so far. It's snowing. It's still snowing. And it's still snowing. Ah, oh, goddammit. Let me see if there's anything interesting here. Nah, not really. Nothing interesting going on. Let's see, then I want you men to the side. You men pick up that. And let's see, do they have any archery towers near this wall? Nope. They don't have any sort of uh, archery tower that can shoot, so I'm good. And then let's see, let's get a, uh, let's get a, these guys all together, uh, form a line. And then let's get, uh, all my town watches together. And there we are. Uh, the town watch sorta, kinda sorta useless. Um, so yeah. I'm probably going to use them as uh, disposable troops. And let's see, we have one, two, three war bands at the gates. And something back there, which I would assume is also a war band. The Gauls just aren't very uh, creative with their armies per se. God damn, I'm hungry. I am very, very hungry. I think I might actually go get something to eat between this, uh, between the videos or something. And right now, nothing much going on. I'm just gonna, uh, Our are at the gates. I'm just gonna advance these guys, advance, uh, these guys right here. Alright, let's put it on to normal speed. You guys, retreat. And you men. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get back to normal speed. And, uh, I actually want to see if I would be able to, uh, move to there. And, uh, throw some spears at him. 
with a uh, with an effect, or if I would actually have to run in there and fight them head on. So they keep reforming, and uh, that's not really working out too well for them. And yes, I can throw spears. Awesome. Let's see if it actually does anything. 232. Spears away. Not really, uh, not really much going on. Not really that dynamic. All right, let's uh, let's send my town watch to charge in there right now. Let's send two of my town watch uh, to charge, and uh, two more to form up really thick right there. Oh, awesome! They're actually uh, letting me go uh, go through a little bit. Oh man, look at this bottleneck here. I think I'm actually gonna have to uh, tell these guys to retreat a little, just to uh, give uh, give some room to the other guys, so that they can uh, make it through. And there we have it. Uh, I think that should uh, let me get them into a... Uh, nope. These guys are being stupid and not charging those guys right there. What I was hoping is that would let me get a, get a sort of concave shape going around them. But that's not working out for real. See, how's my down watch isn't doing too bad. Uh, I think these guys can uh, pick up the ram. And then uh, let's go take out that wall so I can uh, flank them. It's going to be my plan here. Let's just uh, speed it up a little. Because right now I can't really do anything. I'm just sort of sending a horde of men to fight them. And they're evenly matched. And let's move my uh, general up. And uh, yeah, this is this is where I'm gonna cut off this video, and uh, see you next time.